imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually. It has things that are only possible virtually. And it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just got to find something to wear. All right, perfect. Boy. <laughs> oh, hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Hi. Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? Uh huh. Who made this place? It's <laughs> awesome. Right? It's from the crater. I met in LA. Uh, this place is amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> hey, wait. Where is Naomi? Let's yes, call her. Naomi. <laughs> Hey, should we deal you in? Sorry, I'm running late, but you've got to see what we're checking out. There's an artist going around Soho hiding AR pieces for people to find. 3D street art? That's cool. Send that link over so we can all look at it. This is stunning. Okay, that is something. That's awesome. Wow. wow. I love the movement. Wait, it's, it's disappearing. This is amazing. Hold on. I'll tip the artist and they'll extend it. Wow. Brilliant. If you guys like it here, I have another room that you're going to love. Check out this forest room. Huh, let's see it. Koi fish that fly? That's new. This is wild. Hey, one sec, Boz. It's Priscilla. Hey, you have to see this. Beast is going crazy. Oh, I love that guy. We've got to show that to the kids. Can you also send that to my dad? I'll message him. All right, see you at home. This place is great, Boz, but there's something i got to get back to. All right, so that's a glimpse of a few ways that we're going to be able to get together and socialize in the metaverse. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in the heart of nature, baby. It's beautiful to be in organic space, real trees, real air, real butterflies. But that's all about to change because Facebook said, you know what? We are changing our name to Meta, which means beyond, emanating from the Greek. And we are creating a metaverse where you won't even need to leave your house, Ralph, to go into the heart of nature, because all you'll have to do is put on these smart glasses and you will be there. Well, what if I don't want that? I prefer nature, Mark. Ain't nobody got time to go into the metaverse. <laughs> now, it's kind of strange they changed the name from Facebook to Meta, which means beyond. And that's kind of narcissistic to say, hey, you know what? We are the metaverse. We are the new metaverse. <laughs> I'm not against technology. I use technology. And it should be a servant to human beings, not a master. But someone sent me a message and they're like, Ralph, what do you think about the metaverse that Facebook meta are creating this virtual reality environment? And I said, okay, let me make a video on this because we got a whole lot to talk about. I told you this was coming. They want a world without you. Mark Zuckerberg said, we are a company that builds technology to connect people. And I said, wait a minute. Anytime I use your technology, I never feel connected, right? <laughs> it should be more like we are a company that builds technology to control people. Two words came into my mind when I heard them announce the metaverse. Data collection. You see, this has been a plan in the works for a long time. And it's all about turning you, the human being, into an AI creation. So I listened to the Mark Zuckerberg keynote 
about meta, the metaverse, this virtual reality universe where anything is possible, except that real good ass prana. You cannot do that in the metaverse. You cannot woo, breathe in that good ass prana, baby. It's not happening. You see, there are no accidents or coincidences in this universe. This whole global pandemic, where you've seen people wearing face masks, living in lockdown, disconnected from who they truly are, is all part of moving human beings into the AI, the artificial intelligence. Because so many people are disconnected from who they really are, that they're like, hey, you know what? I feel more connected to the virtual world than the real world. And when I was watching the Mark Zuckerberg keynote about Meta, the metaverse, he kept saying this, you're going to feel like you're really there. It's going to give you a feeling of presence. So you can have a Zoom conference call and it's going to be like you're actually in the room with these people, you're going to be making eye contact. And I'm like, oh my gosh, even the cat down the road thinks that's a bit creepy. Now, I told you, they already showed you this was coming in all of the Hollywood movies. Demolition Man. Thank you. 
Thank you.